Back in the day, this probably was a crack house or a trap house. That's more than likely how it became an abandoned house. This is hash. Anybody in the comments know what hash is? Let us know. Oh, we got some rolling 20s up here, okay. rolling 60s. So you see that wheelchair on the back, you know what I'm saying? All day long, neighborhood. What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day out here in Orangeburg. I'm in South Carolina with Way the God. And we are about to get ready to show you where I'm from, my hood, 803, Orangeburg, South Carolina. If you're from the hood and you already know that almost every every hood got like a candy lady or a candy store or somewhere that's in the hood, this was ours right here. Um her name was Miss Dot. So we used to come to Miss Dot House, we used to get our pickle eggs, we used to get our sausages, candy, anything like that when you're young. Because you can't just drive to the store when you're young. Our nearest gas station from here was like five minutes away. So, yeah, we used to hit up Miss Dot. We used to walk up her steps. Her, her stairs was always broke. So, just looking at this right now just reminded me of when we used to have to just skip and hop up the steps to make sure that we could just get our candy. Most of these trailers were here when I was here. So, the fact that, like, my original trailer I lived in is moved, it's really only moved because it's a family house. So, it got passed down to somebody else that's in our family. They took that trailer off of this lot and they found new land. So, in a place like this, I don't know if y'all familiar with land, but how it goes is you buy you some land, you buy you a trailer, and then, boom, you got you a house or a place to stay. And a lot of people, they trick out their homes. So, we put our homes on bricks. We sit it on bricks and, shit, you got you an acre or something like that <laughs> but it's with a trailer and a lot of them are single wide trailers so it's for like single parents or like in my case several of us used to live in one trailer you feel me um we used to share rooms it's usually three rooms and like a single wide trailer and we used to have a room in our trailer that was called the middle room yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're getting everybody who is shooting vlogs. Y'all go here, check y'all shit. You know, be in my damn hood. <laughs> you know, you know, this bird shit, man. We in the bird with it, man. How long you been out here? For like an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking you're killing me. For like an hour. I'm trying to slide before it get dark, but I we think about to go back late. to the A. Hell yeah. It's crazy that, that you were sitting right here of all fucking people. Yeah, yeah. Shit, if he had to do the tour, his ass could have showed y'all. Hell yeah. That's what's up, though. This is my first cousin, Saquon. Shout your shit out. Tell me your Instagram and shit. I ain't on no damn Instagram. Well, tell me your I'm Facebook. in the motherfucking hood all you day, You in the hood man. all day? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> tell me you're a fool, man. Yeah, I love y'all. Love. All right, see you. All right, y'all be all right, easy. Baby. All right. Where the gas at? Shit, I don't know. Where the gas at? <laughs> yeah. Where it's at, man? You got to show it to me, cuz. <laughs> Yeah, but this Banache, it's tons of land out here nowadays. Um, my best friend, Daisha, she used to live right here. Um, her trailer was right here in this same grass right here is where we used to play. And I would mess up my hair. Um, my mama would be coming outside. Daisha, get your ass from outside with all that um, dirt in your head. Da -da -da. But right here in this same pile of yard of dirt right here is where I got my first ringworm at <laughs> so just to be back right here it just feels different like her trailer literally used to sit right here and we used to pull up her mom used to park right here or right here right here it's crazy because it didn't used to be no other trailers right here what's up um my uh I'm not apartment my uh, trailer used to be right here so this tree that you guys are looking at is where we used to park. Um, my aunt had a Honda. It was a blue Honda. And we used to literally park right here. And this was the green box. So when y'all ever hear any rappers talk about green boxes, I really come from the green box for real. So many memories. I'm feeling kind of emotional pulling up here because I ain't been here. It's probably been almost all the mile. I haven't been here in like 15 years. Before I let go. Da, da, da. Damn, I ain't never been in that leasing office. I ain't never even knew that we had a leasing office. This is where my uncle's sisters used to live at. So I would get babysit in those houses back there. We about to pass a mansion. There's two mansions out here. Crazy, because who has spotted out one of the like 
only mentions that's out here. But it's one of the two. This is like leeway, like it's kind of bridging the gap, it's leading you up to it. This was just always known to be a big ass house, a big ass mansion that's just sitting on the corner. It was always bridged and gated off by their gates. What you see is what you get, and I think it's on sale. This is such a vivid memory for me. It feel like deja vu, because I swear to God on my mommy, it feel like I done been at this house before. Like, where I'm from, when you growing up, you could be small and just end up at somebody's house. Because you be with older people or some shit. And like back in the day, this probably was a crack house or a trap house or something like that. That's more than likely how it became an abandoned house. So my mama, she was a drug addict and I'm pretty sure I done been in this neck of the woods because like I said, this is a hood, it's called a partway. Um, I didn't live or grow up on this side of town, but it's a very known place in Orangeburg. Y'all like, y'all don't understand. Orangeburg is just so Orangeburg. If you ride across my city completely, you gonna see that it's abandoned like it's a in my perspective i think this is the place for retired people for like older people that just want to settle down younger people it's not many opportunities here that's why i moved to atlanta when i was 16. so yeah y'all just check this out this kind of made me think back to when my mama got a big dick so we up and left like several places like we just had this leave just grab what we could grab if you go around here to the back this is what my grandpa used to drive back in the day not this exact car but he used to have like a old old lincoln and we used to call it the stinking lincoln if we can push up at my grandfather's house i'm gonna show y'all what that kind of car looked like and i really think this is probably how i got into cars but it's a racetrack out here too um it's about maybe 20 minutes away it's not in orangeburg but it's attached to orangeburg it's still in orangeburg county it's called bowman south carolina and we got a drag strip it's a famous drag strip a whole lot of rappers come they perform there um like summer festivals fall festivals spring bling we don't got spring bling but y'all get it it's our spring bling me coming out here to see stuff right now just is feeling like the old days when we used to be playing hopscotch and you know um jump rope and playing nick and knock nick and knock was a game where you knock on the door and he ran. <laughs> this is what we call like the Bojango stuff. It's basically um, a restaurant that's connected to a gas station. It's cool as fuck. A whole lot don't went down here though. And it's a college town that we in. So like right across the street over there, it's a uh, college. Well, directly across the street, it's a middle school. And adjacent across the street, it's a college. So this right here is like school town. That's how we're middle school. So that was our rival middle school, first of all, okay? I was a cheerleader. So back in the day, when it was time to cheer or like play sports or any of that stuff, that was the rivalry school. Um, they call them like H House or some weird ass shit like that. But I'm gonna show y'all where I went to middle school at. It's C House, it's called Clark. Oh, my brother went to Howard. My bad, I'm so sorry. It's still nice to see you. I was like, your face looks so fucking familiar. Okay. Filming this vlog with hood vlogs. Huh? I said I'm in Carolina filming this vlog with hood vlogs. Yeah, but see, you probably thought that I wasn't going to stick to it because I ain't had myself like all the way together. But girl, I had pulled it together quick. I ain't, I don't even think I had on no makeup. We had just filmed. We was in the foes the whole time. This is Jamieston Pharmacy. It's like the nobody goes here this is not really an important spot but it's just a well-known place for me as a child because it's just right on the corner of the block but my cousin used to work here and she used to give us free ice cream they got great scoops of ice cream in there i sleep want to get out now and go grab me some ice cream this the far away whitaker elementary i went here <laughs> it's really not no school that i haven't went to my mom by her being a drug addict we moved a lot so i think i went there and like first grade or something it's so hard to remember that far back it's two middle schools that we have out here one of the like most known middle schools is i mean not known the school that i went to is called clark the school that i showed y'all is howard that's across from our bojangles and then you got a prep middle school and then you have a private middle school so the prep middle school is called felton and the regular um op that's like orangeburg prep that's a private school so you have to like pay to go to that school felton is upon like acceptance so if you get accepted you really start from like preschool and you wear uniform and they wear these cute little skirts with these like thigh high legging socks they little bow ties and stuff and if you go there you're kind of known like to be rich or smart or whatnot of course i ain't go to that damn school this right here is called south carolina state very 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 competitive football team 
a lot of the people that I went to school with, that I grew up with, they came to this school on scholarship. University Village, that's where the college kids stay. Back when I was here, they used to get it cracking right there. This is the boulevard. This is where a lot of barbershops and stuff used to be at. This was a very, like, black town. Like, I mean, black part of town. Looks like all the spots shut down now. Yep, these used to be people barbershops and stuff over here. It's so crazy riding through here, seeing a lot of places that used to exist when I was a kid, it's not here anymore. Like, it's a lot of stuff. We just passed the car wash that does not exist anymore. Our movie theater is gone. I'm sure our skating ring is like up, but it's probably not up and functioning how we used to be really up and at it. Right now, about to go to one of the best food spots. I know I say everything is the best, but when I say it's the best, it's seriously the best. This is Aunt Lee's a Barbecue in the Berg off John C. Calhoun in China Kitchen. I'm going to have to take y'all in China Kitchen. We have the best, the best Chinese food in the world. We got red chicken wings. I don't know if y'all ever saw red chicken wings, but we one of the only places that I've seen. And I've traveled a lot of places in America. They got red wings. I don't know no other fast food, no other Chinese spot, no other nothing. They got red wings. If I would have went in there, what I probably more than likely would have got was the same thing. Four red wings with shrimp fried rice, pork fried rice. We at Aunt Lee's Barbecue, most famous barbecue spot that's out here in Orangeburg. Um, it's literally like not even a minute away from the Chinese spot. And yeah, so right now, if you want to order, then you just kind of stand outside and place your order. Oh, and the EMS out here wear bulletproof vests. <laughs> yeah, it's real trill out here. So let me have the rice with the hash and the green beans with mac and cheese. You want me? The sides is what I want to be large. I don't want that much meat. I can't hear you. Don't. I don't want much meat. I want more sides than meat. So this is what I got from Aunt Lee's. This is hash. I think that it's like chopped up chicken or something with some kind of nice barbecue something. I don't know if y'all, anybody in the comments know what hash is. Let us know. Rice, barbecue chicken, mac and cheese. In a roll. I was supposed to have green beans, but I guess they forgot my fucking green beans. We got a lot of plants, like industrial plants. Zeus, that's super popular. Um, AYP, that's super popular. And Amazon is not in the city, but it's becoming like a more popular place that people are starting to be employed. There's Zeus right there. That's something I just learned today. That it's no Bank of America's in this place no more. Look at 12 sitting over there being 12. That's what 12 do. In my city in general, it's a whole lot of family things going on. Like, everybody is big on family. They stick together. They mind they B.I. I mean, it's hella messy. Like, it's drama -fied, But that's in every city. You got your good, you got your bad parts of the city. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, this is how it go down. This is the county fair. Orangeburg County Fair. Real, like, county fairground. Like, where it's Ferris wheels and cotton candy and all that good stuff. But it's the actual hood that's called a fairground. That's where we headed to. This is my dude from Hood Love. What up, man? This is my nigga Rock, man. This is my little nigga down there. You know what I'm saying? Small town, but it's a big county, you know what I'm saying? We in Orangeburg City. I say Orangeburg County, you know what I'm saying? They got other small cities inside the county, but uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina, man, for those that don't know. You know what I'm saying? If you look on your map of the United States and look in the southeast corner between Georgia and Florida, you'll see South Carolina. Back in the day, uh, when everything was still segregated, you know, they had a fairground for the black people and they had fairground for the white people. Now, what everybody knows as the county fairground, that's for, that used to be for the white folks when they were segregated. And up here, right down the street, that's where uh, our fairground was at, black people fairground. So, that this neighborhood, this area, that took on that name, so we call the whole area the fairground. And you know, this is where I'm born and raised in the background. That's my grandma house. Everybody know Miss Wiley. She was the candy lady. You know, sell beer, liquor, everything you wanted. You could have came there and got it. It was a one-stop shop. You know what I'm saying? You can come there and gamble, do whatever you want to do. But yeah, this a this a landmark in our neighborhood. I know a lot of people ain't familiar with how this South shit work and all the gang banging and all that shit like that, but I'ma fill you in a little bit, and I'ma let you meet some of my people around here. Oh, what's up with you? Shit, I already know, 20. Yep. And see, 
Just like he said, 20s. Set, come here. It's like shit. They got their own set. They come from another neighborhood and moved up here a long time ago, so you know, they became family over time and shit. Now and everybody on this fairground shit. But, you know, we got some rolling 20s up here, rolling 60s. You know what I'm saying? We got some GDs up here. But it's all black and blue. Ain't nobody set tripping or nothing like that. It's all love. Uh, longer people come with respect. You see that wheelchair on the back, you know what I'm saying? All day long. Neighborhood. I'm drinking this good pink lemonade from uh, Earl Dukes. Now, Earl Dukes, that's a famous barbecue place. I just came there. Uh, I just came from there with the family eating and shit. But if you ever in Orangeburg, go to Earl Dukes, you know what I'm saying? Best barbecue, some of the best barbecue in the fucking world, man. I got a homie from Memphis, and me and him get into it all the time. He like, man, we got the best fucking barbecue, and I'm 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 ready to put some money up about that shit. So if you watching this and you from Memphis and you think y'all barbecue good or not, link up. If you come to Orangeburg, South Carolina, and you trying to, you know what I'm saying, get you some hood drinks or some shit like that. Ask who got the good boot around here. Another thing, you know, something southern as hell. Shit called something called onion sausage. Everywhere I go, nobody know what the fuck onion sausage is. Or or rice pudding. But all that shit is like pork though, you know what I'm saying? We southern, so you know we big on pork down here. The county jail right down the street. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about right when you go straight down up this road to Ellis and go straight down at the end of that road, it's the county jail. So every nigga done been on the fairground. Especially if you're from the city, then call the charge. All right, guys, we're about to leave the city. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for tuning in to come and see where I'm from, my neck of the woods, and my hood, the Berg, Orangeburg, 803. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all subscribe, too.